Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair celebrated its 40th edition in January 2014 with nearly 2,000 exhibitors attending the world's second largest show of its kind. Building on a proud past, the HKTDC event also brought the industry's future into focus with the insights of international toy experts such as Chris Byrne, founder of Byrne Communications and content director of online publication TimeToPlayMag.com. Now Chris is also probably best known in the industry as the toy guy joins us now for some insights of what he's been seeing. Chris, you recently finished a book about some classic toys over recent years. How does what you see today reflect what's been going on in the industry as it evolves? Well, you know, the thing about the toy industry is that play doesn't change. Its role in children's lives is the same since history began. And what happens is the props change to reflect the culture that they have now. Play really serves three functions for kids. It lets them have new experiences, uh, explore their worlds, and express themselves. And the best toys are ones that aren't complete without the child and bring the imagination to life. Well, all right, let's go have a look at some of the examples of what you see. All right. All right. Radio control is always just a huge, huge business. And one of the things that so impressed me about this is from Waltersons, it's a sub submergible submarine. So it actually goes underwater. Now, this tank is a little small, so imagine it in a pool or a bathtub, and it's just this sort of fantasy play plus the ability to drive it underwater. It's really cool. What stood out for you in this one? Well, first of all, I think the, so the sophistication of it, the, the fact that they're able to create a watertight, submersible, electronic thing. Because electronics and water mm, don't mix too, too well most of the time. But just the idea of the level of play and the level of fantasy, and it really is a unique thing. I haven't seen anything else like it. Well, I think the, the thing that's most important about this type of play is that the child is at the center of the experience. They're the one running the controller. They're the one creating the experience, and that's really what keeps them engaged and playing. So from kidult to classics, what do we have here? Well, stuffed animals, which are always classics, but you know, trying a new design sensibility is really something that's amazing. This is a company called Moulin Roti, and these are Les Jolies Pabots, which is French for the pretty uglies. And they're just adorable, wonderful fabrics from France. And this has a, a little bit of a, just a wonderful character look, very collectible and very sort of gender neutral. So you can give this to a boy or a girl, and I think it would look pretty neat on your sofa just as, a, as an art piece as well. What caught your attention? Well, uh, certainly the, the breakthrough in terms of design. You don't see a lot of stuff like this. It's, it, it immediately makes you want to touch it, and it's so soft and, and cuddly, you really just want to sort of engage with it. And it's, it's really that kind of character. It's really sweet. And I can see this being something that a kid gets as a, as a baby and loving their entire life till it's, you know, worn, worn away as, as it gets older. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Pop goes, goes the weasel. weasel. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do we really see here in terms of what the evolution of toys? Are? Well, you've got a basic stuffed animal here, but you've got a Bluetooth compatibility, so it works with an Apple or an Android tablet, and it really does engage kids in basic learning. Which we're here, we're working on letter recognition and uh, just just sort of the play and the natural activity that kids do. So this is really sort of the synergy of classic. This is so cuddly, cuddly play with with an interactive device. And kids, you know, at two, many, many kids have already played with interactive devices. So this is really reflecting what they see in the world and the way that they are being accustomed to playing. The smart toys that help kids it, get smarter. And, and they're still cute traditional toys. <laughs> so what do we have here, Chris? This is called Sands Alive. It's being distributed by a company called Play Visions. And it's all the fun of having a sandbox in your home but absolutely no mess. It's an, a unique compound that's just very, very, you know, addictive and engaging to play with, and you just don't want to put it down, and it can, you can do things like you can have molds, and you can mold things, and it's going to hold the shape, and then when you introduce air into it again, it just becomes all soft and malleable. I think kids are going to play with this for hours. Now, it's a classic toy, a sandbox, but this is also good therapy, isn't it? It is good therapy. I, I think for kids on the autism spectrum, I can see it having applications there. I can see it having applications for kids who may be a little hyperactive, getting them to slow down. And of course, there's all kinds of art therapy that says if you are mal you know, using this kind of action, it actually releases chemicals that help you calm down. So it's a win-win across the board. All right, Chris the Toy Guy Byrne, thanks very much for taking on this tour of what stood up for you at the Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair. And all the best for 2014 and lots of fun then. Thank you.